Welcome back to the SMT YouTube channel, folks. We're glad to have you. Uh, there's something important I want to discuss. You know, one of the things that we've seen very recently, this this big push, non-terrestrial network access, you know, for our smartphones. Our, our smartphones, as is, not satellite phones, they can actually connect to satellites. So you're seeing, you know, satellite texting, messaging. Uh, now we're going to move in the direction of data and calling and those kind of things. You know, T-Satellite and, and ASTS, Verizon, AT&T. You know, we're going in this direction. But there's some news. The Google Pixel Watch 4, which has all types of reasons to buy it. You know, like, yeah, obviously it's a, a an upgrade over previous iterations. New fitness features. They have a really nice Fitbit, uh, you know, suite of features. Um, AI features and other things, right? So all that could be something that you're looking for. But something that is now in tow and not available on any other watch from what I understand is uh, sending and receiving messages through satellite, not requiring a mobile carrier connection. So, I mean, you're talking about a device that's going to have a larger battery, a better display, uh, has all these AI features built in, you know, Fitbit integration, right? all these cool things. But now you're enhancing it with its connectivity features, communications via satellite, a watch, right? Now, the Wear OS devices and, and chipsets, all that's going to be important in terms of making this happen. But as far as I know, this is the only watch on the market that can do this. So the phones do, you know, the Google phones, obviously. In fact, they've got an enhanced experience with T-Mobile and uh, the Starlink service. Uh, I think they're going to be the first ones with data sessions, uh, I think, starting here this week. But now you also have you know, the, the, the watches, which are doing it too. So it's, um, it's a newly announced Snapdragon W5 Gen 2 chipset that enables it to do it. Narrow band, non-terrestrial network, AKA satellite connectivity. And that's along with all the phones too. So the Pixel 10, 10 Pro, 10 Pro XL. And I think in about a month or two, the Pro Fold will also launch. This would be one hell of a way to get connected with these Google devices. This is pretty solid stuff. Pretty, pretty amazing. Um, I, I expect Apple to do the same with their next gen watches and phones and and all those same things. But and and same thing with Galaxy. I, you know, those same things are going to happen. Nobody's going to be left without. But uh, it's just something to to note that Google was the first one to do it. Ironically, everybody believes that they're behind everybody and everything. So, kind of interesting. What do you guys think though? Uh, drop me your questions, comments, and concerns down below. Like, share, and subscribe. Check out some more of our content. We appreciate you guys for being here. We'll see you soon on the next one.